Hello, my name is Lars Strong, Senior Engineer with Upsight Technologies, and I'd like to tell you about our aisle lock sliding doors. They are designed for both hot or cold aisles and come in two different SKUs. One SKU covers aisle widths between 3 foot 10 and 4 foot 6, and the other covers aisle widths between 5 foot 10 and 6 foot 6. These doors attach magnetically with exclusive mag switch technology, meaning they're a completely toolless installation. That means no external labor, no contractors in your facility, a very quick and easy installation. They're available in several different fire ratings, from HB all the way up to FM4910. And they have a gravity close, so there's no mechanical closing devices to fail. Now I'd like to tell you about the installation process. The first step is to install the vertical posts. You set the base next to the cabinet and then tilt them up into position, aligning the front edge of the post with the frame of the cabinet. Then you can engage the mag switches to lock the post in place. Then the next step is to attach the anti-shear plates. These plates attach with just two thumb screws each there's a couple of different positions on the post to make sure that you miss the hinges on the door so there's no interference there. And the next step, once the posts are in place with the shear plates, is to attach the header. The header goes on by sliding one end onto the pins in the top of the post first and then sliding it back over onto the pins of the other post and then the latches can be secured to fix the header to the top of the posts. So the next step is to attach the end caps and the tethers. They go together. You first put the end cap over the end of the header and then put a thumb screw through the eyelet at the end of the cable and through the end cap into the header. This secures the end cap in place now you're ready to run the tether up over the top of the cabinet, either through an opening in the top of the cabinet or some other secure overhead uh, structure such as cable trays, uh, something uh, overhead that could hold the weight of the doors. The tether is there so that if the doors ever are knocked off, they won't come off completely, they'll stay in place. So the next step is to hang the doors on the slides. This is done by aligning the door with the guide channel at the base of the posts, and then the door cleat on top of the posts on the slide. And then with the three thumb screws, you can secure the door to the slide. If you're going to be installing a transom with a door that you've previously installed, just remove the thumb screws that are securing the tethers to the ends of the header and remove those end caps. Then just place the transom on top of the header, then put the thumb screws back in place through the tether eyelets and through the transom end caps and into the header as before. I appreciate your interest in our sliding doors and if you have any questions about the details of these doors or how they can help you optimize the cooling in your facility, please reach out. We'd be happy to talk to you.